rolling off third. The 69 is Jason Bronk. Bronk is sponsored by the Weed Man and McPhillips Toyota. And outside row number two, the 17K is Caden Labute. Caden Labute outside of row number two, starting fourth. Inside row number three, starting fifth, the 46 is Michael Kopp. He won his heat race last week here at Victory Lane Speedway. And outside, starting sixth, is the 19X, the driver is Corey Werbicki. And rounding out the field, he is sponsored by St. Andrew's Towing. The double zero is Greg Blonsky with several feature wins here in 2021. Keep your eyes on the double zero, sponsored by St. Andrew's Towing, starting on the scratch spot inside of row number four. Heat number two, Pure Stocks up on the racetrack. Don't forget the concession area will remain open throughout the evening. Great cheeseburgers, hot dogs. We have awesome fries and gravy, cold drinks, and all kinds of other great stuff, including popcorn and mini donuts. So do check it all out at the concession area as we get set to go racing here in pure stock heat number two. Ken McGarva on the pole, getting ready to pick up the throttle as he comes through turn three and four just seconds from now. We'd like to thank Oakwood Roofing and Sheet Metal, along with the Trophy Connection, Brazier Race and Machine, Burdick Windows and Doors, and Concord Pro Projects, rather, along with Amsoil, all sponsors here of Victory Lane Speedway. Green flag is in the air. Carl's got it waving, and here we go. Ken McGarva is not waiting for anybody. Good start for the pole sitter in the 22 car. As he goes to the bottom of turn number one and two, getting followed down there by several cars, including the 46 of Mike Kopp, who had a good week here last Thursday night. 46 trying to move through the field. That is Michael Kopp, started fifth. Greg Lonsky in the St. Andrews towing double zero, trying to get underneath Kopp in turn one and two. Seventeen K of Caden Labute gets passed by the forty-six. Nineteen X is Werbicki. He started sixth. Oh, oh, that's a bunch of heavy cars getting tangled. Look at that fifty-seven Chevy though. He took care of that Dodge, didn't he? See you later, he says to the Dodge. But now the Dodge comes around the outside. The nineteen X of Werbicki, and he is being challenged by the zero zero of Greg Blonsky now. All kinds of action here in heat number two of the Pure Stock Division. Great racing up front. McGarva has lots of heat on him. That is a great race. Jason Bronk in a 69, given the 22 all he can handle right now. What a race. New leader, the Weed Man, McPhillips Toyota 69. That is Jason Bronk in the number one spot. Mike Kopp third, Greg Blonsky fourth. Blonsky started seventh. So he has moved up three positions. Then we're Bicky, then Labute, then the 10 of Kyle Swaffer, who started outside of row one. Greg Blonsky in the St. Andrews towing double zero now to the inside of the 46. They are side by side in turn three and four. Blonsky takes the number three spot away. Excellent race so far in pure stock heat number two with two to go. Six down, two to go. Your leader is the 69 of Jason Bronx, sponsored by Weedman and McPhillips Toyota. McGarva second, Greg Blonsky third, Mike Kopp fourth, or Bicky fifth. Checkered flag coming out onto the racetrack now, and it's going to the 69. That is Jason Bronk. Magarva comes home second, third Blonsky. 
Mike Kopp will be unofficially fourth, and the 19X of Corey Werbicki will be fifth unofficially. That will do it for an excellent race. Pure stock heat number two, where the competitors were getting down and dirty and racing awful hard. Cool to see a couple of vintage cars tangle up there, that 57 Chevy of Labute and Werbicki's big Dodge. That is a lot of heavy metal on the racetrack, no question about that. There's those two cars right now exiting the track on turn number one. All right, coming up next, Midwest Modifieds, we're told. And starting on the pole, a driver out of the Brandon area. The 30B is Darren Boychuk. And outside in the 24, sponsored by St. Andrew's Towing and Turk Enterprises, this is Victoria Stutsky. Inside row number two, this driver is sponsored by Modown Racing Engines. The 38K is Dan Klim. And outside, starting fourth, the 79 is Doug Wakefield. Inside row number three, the McNaught Cadillac Buick GMC 08 is Frank Veert. Outside the 20 is Nick Adet. Inside row number four, starting seventh, the 4BJR is Hunter Besson. And the 16, sponsored by the Airport Motor Inn, this is the 16 of Brendan Lushinsky. Brendan Lushinsky in the 16 car, rolling off eighth. Part of a team with Midwest Mod driver Sean Roy and the A-Mod driver Tony Casey, all sponsored by the Airport Motor Inn. All right, look at him over. Our flagman Carl is ready for him. He waves the green and here we go. We are racing green, green, green. Boy Chuck into turn number one and two. He is flying. Boychuk flying down the back straightaway. Victoria Stutsky in the second spot. Look at the race between Veert and Dan Klim. And oh, oh, Dan Klim's going to go around. Can he keep it going? He cannot. Dan Klim, the Modown Racing Engines 38, picked up a feature win here earlier this year at the all new Victory Lane Speedway. But right now, that 38 is stopped in turn number four. Dan Klim will start rolling once again. Interesting thing, if you drive a standard transmission in your passenger car, these transmissions are quite different. So if you're going to go in first gear into your car, your passenger car, you're going to step on the clutch, put the car into gear, and let the clutch out to move. In these cars' case, they use a Burt transmission, which is one of the few race car parts that is built in Canada. Burt transmissions are built in Quebec, Canada. And to get one of these cars going, and the late models, super trucks, and the A-modifieds, these Burt transmissions, what you do is when the car's idling in the pits, you put it in first gear without touching anything. You just take the lever, put it into low gear, they call it. To move the car, you actually push the clutch to the floor. So rather than let the clutch out, you push the clutch to the floor. That gets you moving in low gear. Once you're moving, you bring up the RPM just a little bit. You release the clutch, you pull back on the lever into high gear, and that is your race gear, basically direct drive. So opposite of a passenger car in that they only have two speeds, low and high, and the clutch is completely opposite. A lot of tractors many years ago used to use a clutch that you would step down onto to get moving, and that is the case with the Burt transmissions built in Quebec, Canada. There are also Bryn transmissions, but they're a little bit more rare around these parts. Green flag, we're racing once again, here we go. Good start once again for the Brandon driver. That is Darren Boychuk. Frank Viert won the $1,000 to win McNaught Cadillac Buick GMC race just a few weeks ago here at Victory Lane Speedway. And Frank Viert is really on the move here in that 08 car around the outside of Boychuk.
Great race up front. Wow. They are moving. Second spot is Boy Chuck. Third is Victoria Stutsky in the St. Andrews Towing 24. She is pressing hard. Also sponsored by Turk Enterprises. Frank Veert pulling away in the McNaught Cadillac Buick GMC 08. Also sponsored by Linex and Veert Landscaping. The 20 car of Nicodette. Looking pretty sharp. He started sixth. Right to the top of the track, go third and fourth place. Frank Veert continues to lead, but we have a yellow flag on the racetrack. Spinner over in turn number one and two. That is the 4BJR of Hunter Besson. Hunter Besson loops it in turn two, brings out a yellow flag on the final lap here in Midwest Mod Heat number one. So we will line them up just as they were on the last completed green flag lap of racing. So most certainly the 08 of Frank Veert will be the number one driver coming to the green flag for just a pair of laps to finish this heat number one off in the Midwest Modified Division. I'd like to thank Keystone Western, your driving force, along with Pioneer Window and Door, Extreme Performance Auto and Exhaust. They are located on McPhillips. Turk Enterprises in St. Andrews, come drive with us, and McNaught Cadillac Buick GMC. All right, getting set to go racing. Single file style here to the green. Orange cone is on the front straightaway. You can't pass till you pass the cone. And the cone will now be withdrawn. Frank Veert gets a good start in the McNaught Cadillac Buick GMC Veert Landscaping 08. White flag is out. Brennan Lushinsky in the 16, battling with the 38 in the middle of the pack. Lushinsky trying the low side of the 38 as your leaders work through turn three and